To repair a solid laminate, thoroughly inspect the hole and the immediate area to determine the extent of the damage. Remove any loose material. Outline the repair area by drawing an oval around the damaged section. Cut out the marked area by using a saber saw. You must bevel the edge of the hole. Since the hole thickness may vary, measure the laminate to determine the bevel diameter. In this instance, the laminate is one quarter inch, or six millimeters. Therefore, we'll want to mark the outer bevel line three inches, or 7.5 centimeters, from the edges of the hole. If space permits, a 12 to 1 bevel is ideal. Grind out the 12 to 1 bevel using a 50 or 80 grit sanding disc. To provide adequate bonding surface, the bevel should make an even transition. From a sharp edge on the inside to the full laminate thickness on the outside of the bevel. Wrap a piece of sandpaper around a roller cover and sand the inside of the hole. Sand just enough to break the razor edge left by grinding the bevel. Brush off the inside and outside surfaces. To laminate a new skin, you'll need to provide temporary backing support from the inside of the hole. Cut a piece of one quarter inch or six millimeter plywood, soft foam, and a piece of plastic, all slightly larger than the repair area. Position first the plastic, then the foam, and finally the plywood. Securely prop the backup material in position. If props are not possible, the backup could be temporarily screwed into place. In applications where high strength and reliability are required, use a biaxial glass material. This fabric consists of two layers of glass fibers oriented 45 degrees to each other. It's also stitched rather than woven. This material proves to be stronger on a per unit thickness basis than conventional mat or woven roving. It's finished with an epoxy functional coating to enhance adhesion. Cut a piece of plastic so that it's slightly larger than the repair area and tape it over the hole. Outline the outside and inside edge of the bevel. Using the plastic as a pattern, cut the oval out of the biaxial glass material. When biaxial glass material is correctly prepared, each layer will measure four hundredths of an inch, or one millimeter. In this situation, we need six successively smaller ovals. Now, cut a square piece of peel, ply, and plastic larger than the cloth ovals. Prepare a batch of West System resin and hardener mixing thoroughly. Wet out the entire bonding area with the resin hardener mixture. Beginning with the smallest oval, wet out each piece of cloth and place one on top of the other on a piece of plastic. When the cloth is completely wet out, it becomes quite transparent. Use a plastic squeegee to remove excess epoxy. The proper amount of epoxy will leave the wet out laminate with a dull matte finish.
flip the patch, small oval side down, on a piece of peel ply and plastic. As in all structural repairs, place the largest patch toward the substrate first, then each successively smaller patch over it. Make each patch so there is a gradual aggregate buildup. Add 406 colloidal silica to the remaining resin hardener mixture to a mayonnaise consistency. Apply the thickened epoxy to the beveled edge of the repair surface. Carefully pick up the plastic, peel, ply, and patch and position them in place over the hole. Begin to work air bubbles and excess epoxy out of the patch. Pull the plastic away, leaving the peel ply in place. Smooth out any remaining bubbles with the squeegee. Clean up excess epoxy by using the squeegee and a solvent dampened paper towel. Remember, it's much easier to clean up excess epoxy now than it is to sand it off later.